10 years ago, the Ice Bucket Challenge raised millions of dollars nationwide for the fight against ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. Today, ALS Association in Grand Rapids with local business leaders for the first CEO soak to raise critical funds and awareness. 13 on your side's Marcus Key is in the newsroom now. Marcus, you talked with a man living with ALS about why this awareness is so important. Julia, as the ALS Association continues to do research and raise money to help find a cure for the disease, a man that I spoke to today says the efforts to find a cure are more important than ever. Tyson Broyles says the efforts continue to give him hope. Behind the ice bucket challenge that started 10 years ago is a cause Tyson Broyles says his future depends on. He's been living with ALS for nearly seven years. In the beginning, it wasn't so bad. The past couple of years has been a journey. Um, I've had uh, pneumonia. Uh, I've had, a, I've had a, a pneumonia, heart attack. Um, I've had uh, just breathing problems and uh, overall, you know, it, I mean, it's day to day. It's day to day. You know, there's good days and bad days. In honor of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge 10th anniversary, the ALS Association hosted Michigan's first CEO soak, teaming up with business leaders to raise awareness, money, and to help find a cure. According to the University of Michigan Health, ALS remains a deadly disease with no cure. Every 90 minutes, someone is diagnosed with ALS in a life expectancy of two to four years. Broyles says after what he's been through, he's grateful he was able to be a part of the awareness event. I mean, I've been through it. I've been through it. I've been, I've been, um, I've been uh, dead, dead and brought back to life. I wasn't supposed to be here today. As Broyles continued his fight with ALS, he's thankful for the ALS Association, his family and friends, and it's because of them and his own strength that he has hope. He shares his message to others living with ALS. You know, reach out to uh, the ALS Association, um, your local um, association, any association that deals with ALS. Um, I think there's the other one is Susan Mass here in Grand Rapids or Walker. Um, reach out, you know, do your research. And so far, the ALS Association has inspired 17 million people around the world to do the Ice Bucking Challenge to raise awareness, and they've raised more than $117 million worldwide. In the newsroom, Marcus Key, 13 on your side.